Facebook loves. Happy Fantabulous Thursday. It's awesome. It's awesome. Well, guys, I'm just here to encourage you guys as usual. Um, from what the Holy Spirit puts in me to give out to you guys so that you can be encouraged in this thing that we call life here. You know, um, I'm encouraging you all to have a non-stick anointance attitude towards life and people. Because some people can make you want to straight snap, crackle, and pop. You know, because some people know how to push your buttons. They know when to push your buttons. And they know exactly where to push your buttons. I have a few people that know me quite well. And know what to say, when to say, and how to say it. And know they are going to get a certain reaction out of me. But... I have learned the mastermind of not giving them the satisfaction of what they want. I turn it around and I have a non-stick anointing attitude about life and things and certain people now. Um, because this is my life and I have to live it. As long as God allows me to, then that's what I'm going to do. It's not easy. But it is durable. And it can be done. And it is going to be done as far as I'm concerned. Read Psalms 45 and 7. And it says that God gives us a non-stick anointance oil of joy and that's what's on us anointings of oil that gives us joy so that when people have negative attitudes and negative words towards us it won't stick on us it'll just slide right off just roll right off and you can keep it moving if somebody wants to be condescending and obnoxious and just out of control you don't have to let them steal your joy. You can say, have a great day. Enjoy your day. And you can keep it moving. Don't let them steal your joy. It's so easy for your joy to be stolen if you let it. And also, I just want to say, I hope I can really encourage you guys. Um, because I know some people right now are at work. Looking at this video, trying to get some kind of excitement because they don't want to be there. They hate their jobs. They hate getting up, going to their jobs every single morning. Because they can say that they are more than what they're paid for. They don't like their jobs. They don't like what they do. They don't get paid enough. They just go because they don't want to get fired. And they need a paycheck. And why? Because bills have to be paid. Well, guess what? I'm in the same boat. I have a job that I go to every morning that I don't like. I'm scared to get fired. Because I have bills to pay. I need that check. But I'm only temporarily in that position. And the reason why I say this is because I finally made up in my mind to do something different. I want something different out of life. I want better. I don't want to have to be living from paycheck to paycheck every week or every two weeks or however you all get paid or however I get paid. I don't want that type. Who wants to live like that? That's not living. That's just existing. I have friends. Listen to me, people. I can finally say that I have friends that I know personally and that knows me personally 
that over the weekend have just shut down the Epcot Center. You know, Walt Disney World? Who do you know shuts down the Epcot Center? Like, they bought the whole amusement park just for them. Who does that? How many people can say they even know somebody in that realm? Well, I have been blessed to say and can say that I actually know these people. And they were there. I was just with them the night before they got on the plane to do it. Only reason why I wasn't there with them is because I didn't have the money. And I'm just not quite where they are yet. But see, that's the whole purpose. When you want to be successful, you need to get around successful, like-minded people like you. I have big dreams, people. And there's a lot of people out there that have big dreams also. And have a lot of talents. They have gifts, talents, thoughts, ideas that are not being used, that are not being open to the universe. The cemetery is filled with so many people that did not live out their dreams. And we will never get a chance to ever know what they are about. And that's sad. I don't want my life to be like that. I want to live full and I want to die empty. I want to enjoy my life to the fullest. I have a talent to encourage, and that's what I'm going to do. God has put it in my spirit to encourage you, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not just a pretty face. I'm smart, and I have a big heart. And my name is going to be in lights. You might not think so, but baby, you just watch out. Because it's already in lights, because guess why? You're watching me now. <laughs> You didn't know, you better ask somebody. Boop, boop. You watching me now. My name is in lights now. That's what's up. For the ones that encourage me, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much because you don't have to. I really appreciate you. I really do. For the ones that don't support me, thank you. I appreciate you also, too, because you give me motivation for what you tell me I can't do. I show you that I can, that I will, I am. And plus, it's only Thursday. You got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to hate on me, too. Boop, boop, more motivation. Boop, boop, you didn't know, you better ask somebody. So, anywho, again, I just want to say thank you to the ones that are supporting me. Because trust me, when I really do hit it big, I'm gonna knock you off some change. Trust me, I am going to make my mark in life. And I'm gonna give back. I'm gonna give back to the community. That is going to be my contribution to some of you all, to the world. And that's just, that's just the half of it, you know. I'm going to give back. I promise that. And also, if somebody is negative towards you, try to have a non-stick anointed attitude about it. Let it roll off of you. Just let it roll off. If you're having a bad day, don't claim that you're having a bad day. Say that you're having a character building day. Because that's what it is. It's building your character. God is putting you through something so that you can have the wisdom to overcome the obstacles that are going on in your life. Because apparently, if you're having a bad day, he must have made it happen for a reason so he can prepare you for other things that may come along that you need to be prepared for. Just like when we ask God for things. Some of us ask God for things that we're not prepared to be blessed with. We need to be prepared for things when they come our way. 
And it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared for it. We need to have groundness in our lives so that we can be prepared. We need to have a nonstick attitude about life, about situations, about people. I'm not perfect. I have problems too. I have financial problems. I have friendship problems. I have relationship problems. I have family problems. I have career problems, you name it just about, I may have it or I may encounter it or I may not, who knows, but I have problems. But I have made a decision to have a non-stick anointance attitude about life because it's my life and I have to live it and I choose to be happy. I'd rather be happy than to be walking around with grudges, holding a grudge on somebody, giving them power over me, when the person that I'm having a grudge with could care less if I have the grudge or not. Who, who does that? I can forgive people. I can move on. Let it go. Live life. Be happy. I'm not giving nobody any kind of power over me. I need all my blessings. So, I pray for you all who are going through depression, who feels like they're never going to get ahead of life. You are. You are. You're awesome. God is for you. God is for you. I declare and decree in Jesus' name that whatever is holding you back, that the chains are broken off right now. Thank God and say hallelujah, praise you, God. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Be encouraged. Dream big. Get around some people that can help you get to the next level. And most importantly, believe in yourself and have faith in God. I love me some me. I love God and I love you all too.